Welcome to the second episode of Bottom Gear. I am a pillow gaming, or Michael, as some as you already know. And on this episode, I am going to be mainly using the Futo. Now, the Futo is a lovely car, and here is a little clip of the Futo. Okay, so the Futo is an absolutely lovely vehicle uh, that was first introduced in GTA 4. An absolutely brilliant car, the second fastest car in the game, in fact. Not in GTA 5, though it comes back with a brand new look and a brand new feel. And, plus, when you're driving it, you feel like you're on top of the bloody world, which is absolutely brilliant most of the time. And then you have to get down to the hardcore stuff, like, for example, the brakes have been upgraded, the engine's been upgraded, the chassis's been upgraded, the whole car has been pretty much top to bottom upgraded and you're not going to find another car on the market with this much quality and as Futo. As you can tell this car is an absolute gem. Okay let's get on with the challenge for today. So as you know the Futo was part of GTA 4. I have probably just said that. I kind of mash all these things together at random times. But anyway the challenge for today selected by my random fourth generation which is my brain uh, it pretty much tells me that I have to get from where I am right now or, or as far as I can north so there for example or I don't know if it, if it can jump that far there in the futo but there's a difference I'm not allowed to take my finger off of the RT button, which is my drive button, because I'm using a controller for this. So I have to full power it from LSA. This place is going to be a freaking nightmare to try and get through. And if I flip the vehicle, it's game over. If I smash into a tree, obviously I'm not allowed to reverse. I can only hold RT. That is it. So I've got to try and get through everywhere without stopping or pretty much blowing up. Okay. Anyway, let's get on with the challenge, shall we? In three, two, one, go! Gotta put my full beam on so everyone knows where I am. Honk my horn a few times just to, you know, really get the feeling. We'll do it in first person actually, fuck it, might as well. Um just trying to think the best way to do this would probably to get onto the intersection which I've gone the wrong way to do uh, is it already over wait I'm still holding down RT this car is super slidey though because it is it is my personal vehicle but I haven't modded it at all ah this car is super slidey like super duper slidey but it's not a matter of if it's slidey or not, it's a matter of that if I crash and burn and Ah! Ah! Can I get past? Please let me get past. Damn it! Needless to say, the sty was unimpressed. And now for the news. Wait. Sty, what the hell are you doing? Two, you get sued. Either one of them works for us. Okay. Anyway. So, on the news today, LSC, or LS Customs, as people might know them as, has opened up their first shop inside Los Santos. And it's in the middle of town. I'll just... I would take you to a picture of it right now, but I can't because I'm in my office. But, it is literally right around the corner you might be able to see on my map actually yep there it is that little spray can in the top right corner that is the um, new Los Santos which has just opened up their first one 
My man Ratchet say he'll do your cars up for cheap prices. He's a good guy. Anyway, moving on with the news. Um, also in the news, there is a blue guy robbed doors on Black Friday after being refused to be sold. I Steig. So, after being lent a new Futo, we decided to test it around our track. But of course, they had to give the Steig a yellow one. Doesn't he look happy next to his yellow one? Goddamn son of a bitch. Um, anyway, let's see how fast it will go around our track. Yeah, sure, might as well go with that. Okay, so... Let's see. So this will actually give us times and all that lot. Um, I will have to invite guests back to this to do their races again. So um, MKT, man, I'm going to have to invite you back so you can come and do a lap in our reasonably priced car. Again, because this is our actual circuit now. I actually made a proper circuit for it. It's on Rockstar Social Club if you want it and you can race round the bottom gear track yourself oh he slides around that corner listening to those wheels squeal pushing this car to its limit earlier must have been absolutely fun for him and he pushes it all the way to the V bend oh look out for the caravan trailer park at the in the corner those people have set up the place in the exact wrong neighbourhood for him. Making sure no one cuts the corner over here onto the dirt. Going wide on the dirt. Sharp corners. Okay, and he races across the dirt. Really pulling the um, full power out of that Futo. As he goes across, goes round. Oh, he hit a bump slightly, which moved him off. And then across the line and he did it in one minute 15.57 well done him okay so that is our first ever lap around our track the proper track that is we have also changed our previously purchased car to this lovely red warrener Okay, this is how you know that it's our previously purchased car. It's a red Warrener. I personally have never seen this car in my life before, but hey, I just found it and it looks pretty awesome. This is our previously purchased car. Uh, let's have jazz hands, because why not? Okay, so I'm going to go around our track to set the first ever time for our previously purchased car. Okay, let's uh, see how we do, shall we? Let's go. Actually, I'll go in first person. Oh, there's no like. Uh, I can just focus. I can't go into cinematic mode. That's a shame. Oh well. So I'm racing down past the tyres, around the tyres, epically around the tyres, pushing forward. Past the first, past 
the U-Bend going straight down, heading over to the trailer park. Coming on the outside because that's where it wants you to. Coming around, hitting that one nicely, going out onto the dirt a bit as I think it will give me a bit more coverage. I slow down a lot here but it doesn't help me out much because I forgot where I placed a marker. Not using my mini map to its full potential which was my own fault. I then come down onto the dirt, around the dirt, in this little red sedan. Go around onto the grass, over this little bump, and across the line. Perfect. And I did it in 1 minute 10 seconds, 0.889, which is faster than the sty took the... Sty! God damn it, Stig. Hey, look. It's in a nice area now. Yeah, but, um... Yep, so I am the first person on the leaderboards of that. So, yeah. Just go quickly bookmark this job so I don't have to bloody keep doing stuff like that. Okay. So, yeah, that is our reasonably priced car. If you want to do lap, it's actually on Social Club, this is. Search for Bottom Gear Test Track and it should come up. Or type in bottom gear itself and then that should also come up. But yeah. So let's carry on with the challenge then. That's so we brought the car back for the sty to have a go. Wait, where did you get that? Okay, go. There is no timer on this because uh, it's not really about time, it's about distance really. Sty struggling to go in the wrong way down the road. I have absolutely no idea where he's going. But... He, he's a professional driver, so he knows what he's doing, or at least should do. See, that's what I wanted to do, what he's doing now. Except I didn't want to run into things like he just did. I went the wrong way to do that, yeah. Ooh, did he just use his reverse sights? No, I think we'll let him off for that. I don't think he did use his reverse at all there. Ooh, and he went on to the motorway. Where did he get that brand new suit from? He did not have that in the last episode, did he? No, he didn't. Where ha Where's he got all this new stuff from? Damn it. How come I haven't seen any of this money and he has? So all he has to do is get as far north as he can. And he didn't make it either. Wait. Oh, and he's freed himself. True skill by the Stai to get around that somehow, with just holding RT and turning the wheel at the right time and place. He's absolutely belting it north now, trying to get as far north as he can. Of course, he has already beaten me in the Futo. An absolutely lovely car, though. He did, when he came back, he said it's an absolute pleasure to drive, except for it, um... It seems to slide everywhere. It prefers being sideways and forward, so going north is kind of a very hard thing for it to do. As you can tell by me trying to even slightly go off road a bit was a bit of a failure. Stike now entering the road again. Oh, this could be it. No, he seems to have slid itself around. Has he burst is he busted one of the tires of it yet? Nope, not yet. He's back out onto the road by the looks of that. And he is belting it down the road again. He is truly hammering that car around. Now, as long as he keeps his foot down, he might be able to get... Oh, Yeah, again, runs into another car. But that's not the worry. As long as he keeps RT down, then he's fine. Oh, round the corner on... He's going onto the motorway. Very smart choice. Very, very smart choice by the Stig. He's coming down onto the motorway. And he is racing along quite happily. He's going around cars left and right. Whoa! And he accidentally smashed into a car and went up. 
Nope, don't worry about it, he's going back down, he's absolutely fine with us. Ooh, straight past those cars. Oh, here comes a little predicament for him. Getting a bit of FPS drop as well at the same time, which is a big problem for me. But anyway, he's racing along, still happy as can be in, in that lovely Futo that's producing just as much power as it did in GTA 4, if not more. I haven't raced it against an Infernus yet, but hey, when it goes around our track, we will have results to know if it will, can be an Infernus around our track. Oh, and he's coming down. Where? Yeah. Okay. He's going around and boom. Oh, he is heading. He's not actually heading north at the moment. But he has still got his foot flat to the floor like he has his entire journey so far. And he's racing past all of the vehicles. He absolutely he knows exactly how to use this car. Did you see he had one of these in GTA 3 file accounts, according to him? And he races along quite happily, overtaking cars left and right. The car is in a bit of a sorry state from all the stuff we've done to it so far. Thank God it's only a higher car that um, the uh, company has lended to us, Karim. He takes out a motorcyclist for no reason whatsoever. He d he actually swung it in to take out that cyclist just then. And he's going past that junction. Heading straight towards north now. He's heading as far north as he can. Heading to that purple dot. Will he get there or will the car destroy itself before? He has got that little town to go through as well. As well as trying to do this in cinematic mode as well because, you know, why not? Oh, that sounds like he cut someone up without knowing about it. Tight corner, and he could have fell off though, because I didn't. I forgot about that corner existed, and I, if I looked at it, so did he. Oh, and he crashes, but it's not too serious. His car is not on fire yet. He still carries on, absolutely driving away like a maniac right now. I would suspect that he's lost all steering of that. Still going, look, look down hard though on it. It is absolutely pouring out smoke. It will never pass an MOT at this rate. But it doesn't matter because he's on the home straight as far as he's concerned. He is heading north to the northest part of the map that he can find. Which is just... Oh! He hit a rock! Is this going to be it for the car? No, it stays on. The car is fine. And he drives it, drives it, drives it. Oh, he hits another rock. Okay, he's on the beach. This should be technically the home stretch for him. If he stops hitting bloody rocks with my car. It doesn't matter anyway, because he's now racing towards the end. Still got his foot flat down. Is the car giving up? It hasn't given up yet, but... Oh! And he recovered it! How the hell does he recover that? A boat was drowned from that! God damn it! I can't even make it round the second corner. Okay, and he's now pushing himself north as far as he can. And stop trying to drown my car, Steig. God damn it, Steig!
I'd quickly like to thank all of you for um, oh, watching the video. Thank you guys so much. There's not going to be an extra bit because I haven't got a guest on. If you want to feature on the show, please just comment down below. I'm on PC, by the way. Uh, join the Bottom Gear group and etc. And I'll catch you guys in the next episode next week. Peace.